Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to cover the last September update and the first October update and also the new roadmap. Um, yeah, so let's first start with stable customization. And before I forget it, the new outfits. Uh, the, the blue jeans isn't really my thing. I like the black jeans and the leather jackets and the beanies. And these sweaters too, it is cute. White sneakers for the autumn though, that is, it's more wet in the autumn, etc. I don't think that it's really suitable. Well, in the city it's fine, but in nature I would definitely put on some black boots or something, because they will get dirty. Um, yeah, so cute outfits. Not going to buy anything now soon, but yeah, they're nice. Now, stable customization. I think Esso did a really great job on it. It is expensive. But uh, it is really beautiful and the menu it's really easy to work with. There's a trick as well. Star Stable Adventures posted a video about it. If you choose or if you're done with all the with choosing all the customization options that you wanted, then you just press escape ask on your keyboard and then it will remain like that the way um, the way you designed it then but the moment you leave the stable and then enter again after that then it will just be like it was before so if you want a little preview you can have that but it will not last <laughs> you will have to pay but yeah so you can spend a little bit of unpaid time in your home stable if uh, it's not patched yet at least by just pressing escape after being done with the customization options so for now i just chose to well to leave it like this because i don't want to pay for it yet and i don't think it's that important I tried all the options and stuff and a lot of combinations but right now the I don't know the perfect design that I'm looking for perfect result it's not there yet maybe it will be with the Halloween customization options that are coming but yeah I I'm not going to pay for it yet not unless I found a combination and I'm like yes this is how I want the stable to be for a much longer time so yeah when when it is there then I will probably spend some star coins on it but not anytime soon because it is quite expensive and I get it uh, this kind of feature it takes a lot of time to develop and I get that they can't give out everything for free yeah it could have been a little cheaper in my opinion but oh well mm. so yeah I'm not going to pay for it yet and also I want to save up for Tom Poof and Laverna I think yeah I wanna right Tom Poof during Halloween this year yeah um so yeah not yet then about the dragons i think they are so cute especially the blue and red one and the red and black one they are so adorable but the blue one light blue one and the green one as well i'm not going to get any of them now but that's fine maybe later but right now i don't feel like spending star coins on a pet then this week i am recording this on the 5th of october saturday this week we got another horses of Yarvik race well yeah i already said it a few times like i don't really like the concept i think it's a waste of the time they spent on um, the design of the race it would have been nicer if it would have been permanently added to Yarvik, but oh well and then only some breeds can participate and yeah now another best concept in my opinion i do the race just to see what it is if i have to breed i'm not going to buy the breed for it i no just for one race that is available for one week no i'm not gonna do that i must say though the race 
this time yeah I have some generation 2 Mustang so yeah I can do it I really like it I thought it was going to be an older previous race that also had been here in the past but no this one is actually new and it's really fun yeah it would have been really nice if they added it permanently to the game but um, yeah they don't do that with this concept which is too bad but a oh, while well, um, yeah I enjoyed this one nice to ride my generation 2 mustang again yeah so yeah that that's it about uh, harvest of Jarvik race then the bazaar <laughs> yeah it actually has three breeds that I want the halflinger mustang okay I don't want that one so badly and the Arabian which I really really like but this time I'm not going to buy any horses I'm still good after <laughs> buying the Percherons and the Dartmoor ponies last time I'm in no rush to buy these three breeds now I'm sure they will be on discount again uh, if I remember right the halflingers have actually been in the bazaar before but I don't know when if I remember, but yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I would have bought some Mustangs and uh, Halflingers and Arabians, but uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I don't want to spend money on this right now. And uh, yeah, no, maybe next time. But they will be on discount again, I'm sure. Like the Black Arabian, oh it's so gorgeous. I really do want it, but I have so many horses. I can get it so we're in a few years as well, that's also good. Same for the Halflingers and the Mustangs. I do still think the Generation 2 Mustang and also Generation 2 Morgan, they had a lot more personality, they seemed more spirited, they were more, more cartoonish and they had bigger eyes. But yeah, I get it also the generation 3, it's just more realistic and the animations are better. There's just quite a difference between those two versions. I just appreciate the generation 2 a little more, but I will eventually get the generation 3 ones as well, yeah. So I want to talk about the roadmap. Before talking about the roadmap, I want to talk about this art piece. You can also see my comments here. and. A response to my comment so I don't recognize this place in Golden Hills maybe you guys do and maybe it's just the art or the positioning and indeed it could be around Pi's place like music comment is saying saying but I'm I don't know it could be but I'm not so sure about that actually I'd love it if this is a hint towards Cape Point being released soon and it would make sense because if they would add Pine Hill Mansion there as well and the storyline quest would be concluded there at least I yeah I could see that happening actually the storyline being concluded in or around Pine Hill Mansion or maybe even a portal inside Pine Hill Mansion and then the final boss battle taking place there in yeah, that other dimension then hmm yeah I could see something like that happen but yeah I'd really love to explore Cape Point because from the spoilers I've seen online a lot of people have been bugging into Cape Point you can look it up on YouTube you probably already have but it seems to be a bit uh, in the beginning of autumn Cape Point and I love that of course I really want more autumn area added to the game I love autumn so much it's finally autumn now it's the best season it's back <laughs> um, yeah so yeah really I hope they will release Cape Point this year or next year or something and Dino Valley needs to be updated I wonder if Dino Valley is still going to be part of the main story of the old storyline quest um, not as likely I think no I will have to see about that but yeah I hope K-Point will be at least 
the last new arena they or area they add during the old storyline quest i mean it, it kind of should be part of it but yeah the books from helena the soul writer books yeah i don't know how canon they are nowadays how valid they are in the story considering me they are canon but yeah, maybe okay maybe not all the names match anymore but it explains so well how Yarvik and everything works and it is in synchronicity because uh, the fact that it's always fall in Golden Hills for example that's also explains how that has to do with Pandorian magic how the laws of the nature in Yarvik work different so yeah I still Personally, I count those books canon. The names of the Dark Riders mostly are just a bit different. Well, okay, then now let's actually talk about the roadmap. Next up in Jarvik, it's a life. Addition to our classic activities, Igor has found his way to the haunted trail ride and wants to help. Want your help in bringing some scraps to life. Okay, that's nice. Something new being added to the Haunted Trail Ride because, well, I explained it in previous videos as well. Haunted Trail Ride is really cool. But yeah, for me now, I've ridden it like two, three years. And now it's really boring. It's just the same repetitive. It really needs something new. Okay, um... Halloween themed customization options. I wonder if those then will also be only available during Halloween. That you only can buy them then. That would make sense. And that would make... Um, it would re remain more special if it's only available during Halloween. Jarvik Champion Champs. Jarvik... What is it with me today? <laughs> Championship ranks <laughs> return with Halloween styled ribbons. Yeah, it is just a visual. I don't know if I'm going to go for it. On the other side, it's really easy if you just champ at night sometimes and then when barely anyone is around then you have more of a guarantee that you will get five points. So. I'll see about that. I kind of do want them because they are Halloween themed. Hmm. I'll see. Halloween horses, of course. Bolt and Calliope. Near inanimate farms. I've heard of Calliope before, but not of Bolt. Well, we'll see about it. Uh, Spirit of Galloper Thompson joins. In the Galloper's Gambit. Oh! Oh, that is the. Ga yeah. But it was always in there, right? Hmm. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I'm curious to that one. Werewolf Sidings. Oh, with Scott Buttergood. Witch Gambit's Return. Could just as well return in the first or second week, I think. Trick or treat, I don't care as much about that one. Vintage shop with old Halloween items released for 2021. Oh, why now? I wonder if people are still interested at all. Maybe people have been asking about it, but um, yeah, seems like we will get some more action. That is nice last spooky week okay will they then also add something new um register needs help oh yeah right that's always in the last week i always kind of do that one it's sort of a little bit traditional or something welcome new horse coast variations for the last week of halloween before they move to Jarvik permanently why is um are they going to quit with the whole keep maybe and do halloween different next year why else would they move to Jarvik permanently hmm maybe maybe they will do that 
Just like with the Rainbow Festival, not on one place anymore. Well, the Rainbow Festival sucked this year, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, and maybe with this... Yeah, maybe maybe they are going to Halloween diff to do Halloween differently. Maybe they will spread it across the whole island again. Actually, I like that more. Okay, I don't like search quests that are over the whole island. But at some point with the ghosts, people just posted videos about it, and you could easily find them. The ghosts were not that hard to find. No. Um, so if they are going to do it like that again, sort of spread over the whole island. I'd actually like that. I wonder how they would do that because why else would they move those horses permanently to Jarvik? Of course they want more star coins but what point is there? It's kind of weird honestly a decision. Hmm. Okay we'll see why uh, why they've done it that way. That was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, night, morning, evening, afternoon. Whatever time it is for you. Bye.